In the modern game, a meeting between two clubs with this golf in size shouldn't happen at this stage of the competition. But for the good of football, it's fantastic that it has. It's Greenwich, but that pass is loose. And Palmer to slide it through, and Sims is in trouble. Goal for Coventry. A crushing early blow for Maidstone. Ellis Sims slipped in and made no mistake. And it's a tribute to Sakamoto, the injured Coventry player. But for Maidstone, maybe a goal of their own making. Yeah, I mean, they've been a little bit loose in the passes, especially centrally. And Coventry, best possible start for them. Great first touch from Sims, gets himself into a good position. Poverland just made the decision to come out, the goalkeeper, great little ball as well. To Baudier. Kelly, Palmer, and Palmer, and to make things happen again, and that's what he's done. And Sims at the double, to double the damage. Yeah, pretty similar to the first goal, I think. Casey Palmer's causing problems when he picks it up, no real pressure on him. You can see him in space there, waiting to receive it. And when you've got no real pressure on the ball, and that run is good again from Sims in behind. But they knew they had to be thorough, they knew they had to match Mason's work ethic in the opening minutes, and they've certainly been clinical, and that's exactly what they needed to be. And it in, but as well read, Thomas stepping out. And Kelly will look over the top. When they've gone direct, it's worked out quite well. Oh, the effort was saved. The follow-up. The hat trick. Ellis Sims with three goals in the first half. And Coventry coasting. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good pattern of play actually for Coventry because they passed a lot of short passes. They were trying to find the space through, but they were patient. You know, if the space wasn't there, then they didn't pass it forward, kept it, and then it just required a longer pass. The goalkeeper just couldn't get across, and Sims is not going to miss from there when he's on a hat-trick. It's a good play from Coventry. Kitching. That's a Baudier. Thomas Eccles proving for a fourth here. Gordon helping it on. Tavares! Sims! for Coventry, who are cruising, cruising into the quarter-finals. Yeah, Sevi kept off a strong performance, Tavares. We talked about Mark Robbins challenging him to keep his place in the team. And he had a couple of opportunities before this. Again, it's limited touches, good passing, great running behind, and then this time the finish to match. Terrific for Tavares. Inside, oh, the little flick. Got, got a shot, oh, it's spilled by the goalkeeper, which means Tavares gets his second. Five for the Sky Blues, who seemingly cannot wait for this quarter-final. But just some weary legs out there, decision making, can't quite get to it. Just on a plate for Tavares, who certainly benefited from this. A couple of goals in quick succession. Well, they've been free scoring in their last few FA Cup games. Coventry City, four in the replay against Sheffield Wednesday, and five here tonight. Coventry show their class. Too many tears. For Maidstone United to make up. But George Elakobi will remember this cup run, that's for sure. His side have shown so much spirit on the road to this point. But that road comes to an end because the Sky Blues showed far too much style and substance. A hat trick for Ellis Sims and two for Tavares means that Coventry City will feature in just their third quarter final since that famous day 
in 1987. The final score at the CBS Arena is Coventry City 5, Maidstone United 0.